art really went from being just a tool to not only a voice of expression, but a passion. I became very passionate about the value of using art to express myself. It just opened me up. It, it opened my, beyond my brain, it opened my heart and soul and just let her rip. And that became really what my art for me is about. My name is Rodney Wood. I'm an artist living in Trinidad, Colorado. I currently explore art through my passion of oil painting. Art really became important to me pretty early on. It, it was a place for when I was, you know, even elementary school. I could shine in that area, feel comfortable in making art and taking art classes. I always got good grades, but I always felt like I was pushing it in the other things. This just felt natural. Then in high school, I had a teacher who kind of encouraged that. And then after that, came time to college. And I had a couple of professors who absolutely challenged us to not just be technically skilled. This is during the hippie times and the whole Vietnam War stuff. So there was a lot going on but it felt like art wasn't, I, I had not yet chosen to use that as my tool for expression. And those two encouraged me to do so. It felt good to push the envelope, be edgy, make people squirm, express myself in a manner that proved that was my way. I got to painting kind of in a roundabout way later in life as an artist, and it just felt right but ultimately it was the tool, it fit. It fit my hands, it fit my eyes. And art empowered me to scream. It empowered me to whisper on occasion too, but when I was young I screamed a lot. <laughs> my hope, goal, high aspiration, difficult challenge is to have heart and soul. I'm not hoping that happens accidentally. I'm fascinated with the human condition, and part of me exploring the human condition is what's going on in their heart. Not just their brain, not what are they thinking, what are they feeling when this is happening to them or near them or around them. It's about what they are feeling, not what they're thinking. And I open my heart to do that. And hopefully by me exposing myself, exposing my heart, it encourages you as a viewer to do the same. For me, I often save, it's like saving dessert for last, when I finally do the model, the form, the human's eyes, it comes alive. If it's working, it's almost like giving it permission to breathe. It's now alive, and I love it, and that's part of why I save it to the very end. I love to dream, and art for me is magic and I love magic and I don't mean bunnies out of a hat I mean that there's so much we can't know and to be okay with that that I love that I love that I mean even using magic again as the analogy when you know how the trick is done it's no longer magic so if you are making art you're exploring art you're doing your life for me Love of life is about addressing new unknowns. That's what I love. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is made possible by Colorado Creative Industries, the Betcher Foundation, and the National Endowment for the Arts.